What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. And today I'm here to talk about the highly leaked Google Pixel 3 XL, give you my first impressions, and actually rant on about this device. So without further delay, let's dive right in. All right, so like I said, first impressions, I'm going to rant on about the Pixel 3 XL with the leaks. But uh, right now it says we're going to get a 6.7 inch 2960 by 1440 display uh, most likely going to be OLED 6.7 is ginormous bigger than the Note 9 uh, Snapdragon 845 which is obviously normal uh, for flagships nowadays Android Pi Android 9.0 Pi uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM no seriously 4 gigabytes of RAM in 2018 is just not going to cut it there are some other flagships with 4 gigs of RAM but the norm is literally 6 gigs to 8 gigs of RAM. So Pixel 3 XL having 4 gigs, uh, it's not a problem. The 2 XL didn't have a problem. I don't think the 3 XL will have a problem either, but just, I mean, for future proofing, add an extra 2 gigabytes of RAM. Make it 6 gigs, you know, not 4, you know, up that quality. Uh, a 3,430 milliamp hour battery. I think that's personally a little too little for... Pixel 3 XL, if it's actually going to support 6.7 inch screen, maybe add in or you know bump up the size of the battery. The Note 9 has a 6.4 inch screen with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and the screen on time on that phone is really good. One thing that has been confirmed is Google is finally going to implement wireless charging, which is a plus. A lot of people have been looking forward to that, and in my personal opinion, I really do uh, enjoy wireless charging on my phone so it's really good to see that Google is going to implement this. It's also going to have a single lens camera on the back. Google is depending a lot on software and not gonna lie Pixel 2 XL in my opinion had the best camera hands down in any smartphone so I'm pretty sure the 3XL will continue uh, with that amazing quality and looking at these uh, camera samples that have been leaked they just they look amazing honestly and that goes to show that you don't need three cameras to get a bokeh effect or to get like better low light quality. Single lens, in my opinion, is perfect. Uh, 3XL, keep it up. Now, one thing, actually, yeah, w there's actually two things that I want to uh, complain about. Like seriously complain about. Uh, one is the notch. Now a lot of people are saying if these leaks are true and 99% chance these leaks are true then that notch is real and these people will not buy it. People are straight out saying I will not buy if it has a notch. Uh, a lot of people said that about the iPhone 10, but the iPhone 10's notch isn't as uh, eye catching. Like, it doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb as much as this leak of the 3XL. Now if you look at it closely, stereo speakers on the front, which is a big plus. I'm happy about that. Thanks for keeping that Google. Uh, two cameras, uh, a lot of people are saying it's going to have a super selfie camera, which I don't know what that means, but uh, better selfies coming your way, so I guess that's a plus. A lot of other people are saying that it's going to include face unlock just like the iPhone 10. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see until at least October 4th, which is the rumored unveiling date of 3 and 3XL. But that notch, seriously, you could have implemented a notch like the OnePlus 6 or at least the iPhone 10, it wouldn't be as big and as like a so stick out like a sore thumb. It's just, I don't like it. I really don't like it. You know, Google, you didn't need to go this way, but it was bound to happen with uh, recent leaks of Android Pie. Uh, there's been a lot of support coming uh, for phones with notches and it was bound to happen that Google would implement a notch with their future flagships. Now the Pixel 3 XL is more evolutionary than revolutionary. If we take a look at the back of the phone, it looks almost identical to the 2 XL. The front is where it changes, it has a notch. Now a lot of smartphones these days, there are some exceptions including the Note 9, the S9, things like that, they don't have a notch. But we're in that age where smartphones, they're trying to limit the amount of bezel but they don't have the technology to implement all those uh, you know, speakers and earpieces and cameras into the display so they're you know, trying to take up as much screen real estate as possible without, you know, uh, taking away those features as well. So they're adding notches. Uh, this notch on the Pixel 3 XL is just 
it's unnecessary. It's way too big. It's ginormous. But uh, I guess with time, people are going to get used to it too. But right now, a lot of complaints are basically two reasons. The notch and the amount of RAM that Google is going to include with the 3X. So I hope they include 6 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but if you ask me for my first impressions, I'm happy with the phone. Uh, it's basically continuing what Google has been doing for the past two, three years. Uh, stock Android. You know, it's basically that phone that just does what it does. It's a phone that does what it needs to do. And that's what I enjoy in a phone. Uh, but that notch and RAM are my only two complaints. But nothing, you can't really change that. So you gotta stick with it. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to comment down below what you think about the Pixel 3 XL. Be sure to Superman that like button superman that subscribe button be sure to share this video and follow us on social media links are in the description down below until next time everybody this is mtg